Turn it to the side. Okay. All right. We're going to get two. Sparring, it doesn't matter if it's drilling. No one is understanding how to increase their fight IQ. Y'all are just throwing your strikes. You're not understanding that fighting is a, uh, like martial arts, boxing, it's a chess match. It's a conversation between one or four, if you're in a street fight, people. So when I'm throwing my punches, I can't just throw my punches and ignore what his body is telling me. I have to have a conversation. So we're understanding distance management and how and when we need to either step forward, stay still, or even step backwards. If Evan is here and I throw my kick and he doesn't move, what that's telling me is that this is perfect distance for this kick. Without stepping forward too much, this is perfect distance for these kicks and punches. That's what I've cemented in my brain. But if he steps back, a lot of y'all are not understanding that I gotta step forward, so I see a lot of y'all doing this. Clipping your toes or just missing or losing confidence. So the first kick, to answer your question, Lance, is to understand your distance and relativity to theirs. Boom. The second one is to now submit that this is a good distance. I know this is a good distance, so therefore when I throw it, I know it's going to land perfect. When he steps back, however, I now know that in my brain, because I've done it twice already, that when he steps back, so that I can't throw this same kick and expect it to hit, so what do I got to do? Exactly. I don't move it. I gotta move myself. So when he steps back in, when I step, when he steps back, I have to step forward to get that kick. This is how we start increasing our understanding of our fight IQ and relativity to the person we're, we're, we're sparring or fighting. Because it's very important. This is management. It doesn't matter if you're the strongest person. It doesn't matter if you have the most cardio. If I can control this distance the entire fight, I'm gonna win this fight. So this is management. We're gonna do that one more time. This time we're gonna do it on the left side. So, so let's go back. Good distance. This is with the switch. So the switch can be a little bit different because a lot of people try to walk forward with the switch or walk back with the switch. So we're understanding how to stay right here in the switch. Boom. Perfect distance. That's the second one. The third one, he's gonna move back. I know I have to go forward with that switch. So it's super important. I just click my toes. I see a lot of y'all have injured feet because y'all, yeah. It's important, you gotta understand moving forward and backward. Now, one more addendum. B, because you were doing this, when you throw your kick, try to, it's a little bit of a guesstimation, a little bit of like prophecy, like I gotta guess exactly where he's gonna go when he steps back, because what will happen a lot of times is that he steps back, a lot of people will run in. So you gotta kinda like guesstimate a little bit, so find those sweet spots. You with me, Ashley, you're looking outside. I'm going to make the sweet spot. Okay. 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 